Okay, been here about uh, 40 minutes at this uh, old park with uh, Tony Two Cent, and boy, I look at all these roots I had to cut through. Had kind of a iffy signal, but I think it's an Indian head. It's uh, real crusty. Uh, I'd be surprised if it's a weedy. It might be, but uh, I kind of have an Indian head signal. So I'll get that cleaned up and show it to you later. Okay, it's been about uh, 10 minutes since I found that Indian which was on the other side of this tree and I'm working my way around and I just got a double Indian my first time ever they're pretty crusty I don't know if there's gonna be uh, much to them maybe get a date if I'm lucky but I don't think they're gonna be in very good shape okay get back with you Okay, I think that I think that's another Indian head penny. Looks like it's about six inches. Dig it up and let you know. All right, well there it is. That's uh, Indian number four. In fact, <laughs> that's the only coins I have found today are Indians. All right, get back with you. Hey, well, I've been here an hour and a half now, and I mean, just look at this beautiful park. Anyway, I just had another Indian head signal, and I knew it was going to be an Indian head because uh, it was a 1035 at about six or seven inches. So it it sounds like a Zincan, but it's not shallow. It's quite deep, and that's kind of how you know it's an Indian. And there it is, still in the dirt. Not sure what the date is. Looks like 190 something. But uh, that's number five for today. And uh, it's so funny because all I have found is four clad quarters and five Indian head pennies. Nothing else. All right, get back with you. Okay, it's been more than two hours since I've found a good coin. I've hit a couple memorials and a clad quarter, but uh, boy, I just had a nickel signal down pretty deep. Look how green the soil was next to it. And uh, anyway, whoops, it's a buffalo. Okay, get back with you. All right, um, just got another Indian. This uh, rang up just like a modern zinc penny, only it was about seven or eight inches down. And uh, you can see my hole here. It's a pretty good, pretty good size hole. So anyway, uh, I think that's five or six Indians. I'm kind of losing track, to be honest with you. Okay, get back with you. All right, well, I've been here, I don't know, five hours now. And I finally got a signal quite deep, eight or nine inches, but it was just too high-pitched to not be silver. And there it is. Looks like a barber. I think, I don't know. I'll clean it up and I'll let you know later what it is. All right. Hey, just had kind of a choppy nickel signal only about five inches deep. Uh, dug my hole and I got a V nickel. So uh, I got a nickel trifecta today. I got a V, a Buffalo, and a Jefferson. All right. Well, that's good. I'm um, still finding a lot of nice old coins here. So uh, I think I'll just keep looking. All right. Get back with you. Okay. Had a 1038 signal at about 7 inches. And I suspected it was going to be another Indian. And it is. I, I think this is six or seven for today. I'm not sure. Okay, get back with you.